Hey guys, Jordan here. Um, today I'm doing a video on dreadlock washes. Um, today, if you have ever wondered different types of uh, washing for dreadlocks, or um, basically you just want to uh, get some variety in your regimen, or maybe you're saying that um, you know a wash that you're doing isn't getting your hair as clean as you want to. Uh, you just want to try something new. This is the video for you. Um, basically, dreadlock washing, um, the base of dreadlock washing is you want to make sure it is no residue, uh, low residue uh, washing. And there's a, a, a few different types. There's three different types. Um, I would say um, there's the first type, which is um, a, a, a cleanse, a chemical uh, rinse. Um, and that uh, usually consists of a baking soda and a vinegar um, and basically it uh, it's a pH cleanse uh, and it strips the hair of oil um, what it is is it's meant so that you can build up your natural oil in your hair and then you know once a month or so you can strip it out um, so that it can uh, naturally clean itself naturally um, you know do everything that needs to and then it can restart over at the end of the month so there is a second type of wash and that is uh, the um, the bottle wash the bottle wash and what that usually uses is uh, a type of pre-made soap a lot of people use dr. Bonner's a lot of people use um, different types of dreadlock soaps uh, non-residue soaps that they get in a bottle has lots of ingredients and that's just fine as long as it's no residue. Um, the third type of wash is a rinse. And basically a rinse, an oil rinse, is a type of wash that you can do um, to cleanse your hair just using plain water. There's things like tea tree oil. Uh, there's things like mint uh, and sage. Many people use uh, natural herb rinses to clean their hair. So that is the three different types of washes. Um, today I also have a few different plants to show you. Uh, this one here is mint. Uh, it is growing very very sparsely and mint is for um, it's basically to keep itch uh, away. If you ever have a dry itchy scalp and you've been using rinses uh, and one rinse that you can do is a mint rinse, uh, also a mint and a tea tree rinse. And those are both are going to be really good for an itchy, dry scalp. Um, uh, they work really good with aloe. Um, uh, mint is just a, a soother, a soother. So you use cold water with mint and it is uh, a very, very um, good uh, soother for your hair. Um, another one is aloe. Uh, please mind my aloe. It's a little uh, dry. But um, basically we have aloe here and aloe is also a cleanser but it also is a, condi a conditioner um, or a soother but it also is a conditioner. So this basically um, can help you keep moisture in your hair um, and it also conditions your hair and it gives it a little bit more spring to it. People that use mousse um, you know, on non-natural hairstyles, lot to lot to like to give their hair a little bit of bounce and a little bit of volume. Well, aloe is the natural uh, way to uh, volumate your hair. All right, guys, this is Jordan. Uh, hello, Jordan, and um, I just told you some wash types, and I also told you some natural herbs. Um, some more herbs are sage. And rosemary, rosemary would be for darkening of the hair. Sage would be uh, for strength, for strength. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you um, have strong locks and I hope you keep uh, your locks strong. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, put them in the comments. Uh, and also like and subscribe. That would be very appreciated. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, Love and light.